Okay, welcome to a new game called Sprocket. It's a game where you build every aspect of your tank and then you have to... I'm playing a scenario where you have to survive an ambush. It is very detailed. <laughs> They're like from every aspect. You need to think about your armor thickness and your the angles of your armor for reflecting shots and things like that. Let's see, let's take a look at it's the armor size thicknesses and it shows when it's red that means that it's a stronger metal but we have to watch our tonnage too. Sides. Roof doesn't have to be as thick. I'm thinking like your front armors because you're going to want to try to keep your nose to them and just a little bit to the rear and let's make so our turret can turn 100 360 degrees you got to remember to click off of it let's try that <laughs> uh, no that's not gonna work either um oh that's okay the cannon let's let's put this one on there no this one you want to right click to get rid of what you're already working on. Okay, and then we gotta do the cannon size, and then that'll give length, starting thickness, and thickness. And this is gonna give for our reload times too. We got to watch that base labor time point eight. Let's the length of the bear a little bit shorter. Make it one solid barrel so it doesn't have multiple thicknesses. And let's put a muzzle end on it. Let's go with that one. Okay, now ammo gives us what's stored in the hall and what's stored in the turret. And we'll leave it at base. Um, mobility, I want, okay, we need powertrain track spacing. Oh, that's spare. Okay, that's good. See, so we can change the different... This is changing the wheels in the back. Let's put those on. Suspension. You can change the suspension. Let's go with... Oh, well, that's pretty good. Okay. We can change the rear wheels. Let's go with those. <laughs> A really long tank. The suspension length. Thickness. Track width. Let's move it back. I don't need to have this long of a tank. Let's move that back and then we can take and take the base of the hall and move that back. Oop. Guess it's gotta be a certain length. don't really want that sticking out like that. How do we get rid of that? I guess you do have to have it a little bit longer then. See, I just want this to be shorter. And that's where the fuel tank is at now. Let's see. Firepower crew. 
Now the crew, we need to have a hatch, which we need to then play around a little bit more, I think, with the... Oh, well, I guess that'll work. And viewports, we need for targeting. And for the driver, and we can have a view hatch for, for a gunner, probably. We got the antenna. Different storage. I don't really know if any of this is necessary, but it's kind of cool. Got that, and crew hatches. Okay, this way crew can get out. <laughs> Don't need lights. Utility. I think this is mostly just decorative kind of stuff. Probably really f doesn't really f serve any purpose. Maybe like these logs for getting out of like ditches and stuff might serve a purpose. Extra armor, I'm thinking. Uh, and we got gun ports, some different machine guns, and we got a machine gun. I think those are just pretty much decorative also. Um, let's see, if, oh, and then this. This is just for adding a little extra coolness to your tank. Okay, well, let's test it out. Oh, <laughs> there's already an enemy tank coming. Exhaust. Let's do a round vent. And our gun caliper, we need to we need to improve our gun. Because <laughs> the firepower was not good enough. 75 millimeter. That's probably gonna make our reload time a lot. Three seconds. Well, let's give it a try. Let's go after this guy. <laughs> Give this a little more of a little more of an angle to it. Let's see if that helps. And because we've still got some distance front armor. Let's add some sides. 
This might decrease our ability to turn our turret. Might be longer to turn it, but at least the turret's got a lot of armor to it. So and let's take a look at the hall. Yeah, see the hall's got a lot of is really good. If I even get a shot off. Oh. <laughs> nope. There we go. I want to move the sprockets back a little bit. Let's see if that helps. Okay, there we go. Spacing. With. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> oh. I think that would... Come on. Oh, come on. Come on, side shot, side shot. Is that turret's too slow? Oh, come on. Not behind me. Don't get behind me. Yike. <laughs> yeah, my turret's really slow turning. Come on. Get the thing. Get it around. Get it around. I gotta get at least one kill. Oh. oh, and let's play around with the muzzle. Length. Let's do a short. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> Hundred millimeter base load time damage. Let's see penetration caliper. Let's do a hundred hundred millimeter shell length. Penetration so fifty five fifty six. Yeah, see that it starts going down after a little bit. Burn off, whatever that means. There's a lot of... Uh, yeah, it should probably just a little bit longer cannon. <laughs> it's going to take an hour to turn that turret. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, well, maybe if we try a different muzzle, too. A straight. Well, which one should I go with? Let's try that. Okay. We'd be an hour and a half to turn this turret, especially to raise it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't even get a shot off. Okay, let's retry it. I want to at least fire this thing. To see what it sounds like. Come on. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna let me raise it.
Oh, hey, at least I got a kill that time. <laughs> okay, let's let's try it again with that one. Let's try to get up here before they start moving up on us. Insufficient force. Wait, what's that mean? Uh, I should have read that. taking something out of that tank. It's not moving anymore, is it? It's not really firing at me anymore. I'm going to turn on these guys. Oh, did they get my loader? They must have killed my loader. You can see where they're hitting my tank. Yes, I don't have a loader anymore. Crew. Oh, is there a way to... Oh, okay, here we go. There's turret. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, we got the driver. Sits in the hall. And then we got the gunner, which is in the turret. And we've got the loader. Which, uh, the loader is going to have to be in the turret, too. So, our... And then we got a radio operator. Oh, here's the commander. Radio operator, and... And he's in the turret. Can they be in the hall? No. Shoot. He can be the gunner too, can he? Don't need. And let's see. We need one more guy in the hall. So we need a loader in the hall. Okay, there we go. Deficiency. Can we do five? Let's do. So we want the loader. It would be good to have him in the turret, though. Okay, there we go. But now, I think our tank isn't big enough. Yeah, see, internal space is not big enough for the, the amount of people we have in there. We don't really need five. There, we got four. And let's take and make our hall a little bit bigger base Just right there okay now now let's try it at least now we got which it's still a long time to load Don't want to be facing down. Yes. Oh, come on, back up. Back up. 
It's <laughs> gotta be some tanks. Oh, there's one right here. Let's get ourselves turned. See, we basically have to turn because this turret's so big, we have to turn the whole tank to get a firing solution on something. Yes! Okay, turn it, turn it, turn it. We don't want our back to those tanks over there. Come on. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly just a stationary gun. Come on. Get it around. Get it around. Oh! Huge. Take the caliber down to do a 90 millimeter shell length. Now see that, okay, that takes down the penetration. 66, 70. Okay, 70 millimeters. Now let's see what the ammo, okay. And <laughs> it's just, we don't have to have an, let's take this down to a 90. Let's give it a try. Let's save this one. Oh, insufficient force, aim, cannon, ear motor, cannon, closer to... Yeah, the guns. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot of enemy tanks here. Trying to keep, see if it shows. Is there a way to, to be inside? Oh, did I take it out? behind me. Not good. Oh no! Did they kill my... They killed my loader. Shoot! Yeah, see, they killed my loader. So that... <laughs> crew. Can we get... I wonder if we could do, like... We do a passenger that can do loader also. put the passenger in the turret and then possibly he can then take over as loader if one gets killed okay let's try that oh where did that come from No, shoot. Oh no. Yes, I don't want him behind me. But the thing is, if I turn my back to those. The <laughs> oh, that one's on fire, too. Come on. Yes! How many more do I got left? Oh, 
Where is that coming from? Oh, it's right there. Come on. Come on, get that gunner out. My front armor is pretty good, so. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. This is the last one I've got to fight. What's he shit? Yeah, it's bouncing off that pretty good. <laughs> the last one. that do it? How do they end the scenario? I think because I think I took them all out. I love that how they show the the damage. There we go. Now that one. Yeah, I don't see any fire on that one. Let's. I think we have to get set them on fire to get them to be done. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.